Hey everyone, in this video I'll take you through a beginner's guide to vivago.ai. In order to do so, first off, here we are at Vivago AI, and we're going to log in first. So up here at the top right hand corner, we're going to go ahead and continue with Google. And with just a couple clicks of a button, here we are logged in. And this is what you're going to expect when you first log in with Vivago. So we have a variety of examples of things that other people have made. And there's some really neat stuff here. And you can just kind of get a sense of what Vivago is capable of. And uh, it is capable of some pretty cool things. It's got some good results. I like what I'm seeing. The uh, generations seem nice and clean not a lot of morphing, things of that sort. And we can just get an idea here from all the other examples that other people have done of what VivaGo is capable of. So pretty neat. We've got uh, a lot of really cool visuals that other people have done. And uh, yeah, we could just see here, we can uh, hit the remix button here. Let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, so then this is actually gonna allow us to see the prompt that this was originally generated in. And we can hit generate here and we can uh, do something like that. This is uh, something that I did here recently. So this will give you an idea of what it is capable of. A little bit of morphing here, but uh, for the most part, quite nice. Um, we'll just go through the various options here. So we, here we have our explore page. We have a variety of styles to search from. Let's go ahead and just kind of look through the different styles really quick kind of give you a sense there of what VivaGo is capable of. So here we have image. So this is without video. This is just a uh, static image here. And we have effect. Okay. So I guess we've got the wink. We've got the squish it. Uh, let's see here. What else do we got? Looks like there's lots of winking. So let's not take too much time there, but uh, just to give you an idea of what it is capable of, let's take a look at campaigns. Okay, so something here about Halloween party, that was a little bit ago, so let's go ahead and just go here to favorite. Of course, if we find a favorite, I think on the Explore page here, yeah, we can go ahead and click the heart button there and that'll show up in our favorites. If we have assets, okay, so this is the image that I have already created from before. So anything that you create, it will be found under assets. And we have video generation, image generation, 3D generation, character creation, and AI tools. So I would expect that you might want to start with image generation. So if you've got uh, an idea that you want to play around with, then you can put that in the prompt. We have the magic prompt option here that's going to allow you to refine your prompts. Uh, VivaGo will add some additional details to it to try to pep it up a little bit. Uh, so that's something that you might want to play with unless you've got something very specific in mind that you want to put in there then you can try the magic prompt there. We've got tags, and this is where you can really kind of dial in a little bit more with VivaGo. So we've got uh, different options here we could take a look at. So if we want a specific kind of color scheme that we're looking for, if we want a specific style that we're looking for, these are all options that we can add under tags. And I would expect that we can do a variety of tags. So let's go ahead and try that really quick. Let's try, I've already done this before, but let's go ahead and just go with a fantasy forest. And let's try some tags here. So we're not getting anything under character, not sure why. Let's try a green. Let's see what we got here as far as green goes. Mint green, why not? Oh, and we had a forest screen. So let's do that forest screen. So we can, okay, so we can uh, clear the tag if we want. Here, as far as a style goes, um, I like the idea of hyper realism. So let's go ahead and stick with hyper realism. Scene, magical forest, viewpoint, ultra wide shot, satellite view. Okay, so this is really quite neat. So there's a lot of different. Uh, views here that we can uh, play with, but let's just leave that composition. 
So we have a lot of really useful tags to search with, and this is really going to help us to dial in our prompts that much more. So that's really cool. We've got hairstyles. So if we we're using a specific character and we want them to have a hairstyle, like, wow, there are some really cool options here to search through to really help dial it in. Uh, we can add emotions. We can add specific lighting. Uh, let's go with cinematic lighting. Render. Let's see. Okay, so we have different options here. Let's see. Ray tracing. Let's go ahead and add some ray tracing to that. Material. Uh, so this is something that we might want to play with, but I think for what we're doing here, we can just bypass that. Let's go with 16K resolution. And let's see, what, a, what else can we do? Ultra high, hyper quality. Let's go with hyper quality. So this is adding all of our uh, tags here, which is gonna help to refine our prompt. So that's really cool, I, I quite like that. We can also upload an image if we want. Uh, we're not gonna do that for the purposes of what we're doing. Here we have our aspect ratio that we can choose from. We have an image count. Let's go ahead and click generate and we'll see what the results are with that. I'll just go ahead and throw this on pause really quick while that's working and we'll be right back. Okay, so that's completed now. So we can go ahead and take a look at the options here. And we can see that by hovering over it with our mouse, we get some additional options we can look at. We've got remix, retry to video to character. We've got three little dots here, erase, expand, enhance. Uh, we'll just leave that for now. But one thing that's good to know is if you have an image and you like it and you just want to go and straight try that to video, then you can click that here. Um, let's just take a closer look at our images here. So this is what we got with this and yeah, really quite nice. Um, as far as the only thing I would say is that they're both incredibly similar. So as far as kind of giving us different options to choose from, they're both incredibly similar. So, eh. but the results are really cool. I like them. Very nice. Um, let's go ahead and we can go to video generation. Let's just go to video generation. Why not? And here, if you wanted to do something video generation and you don't want to have a pre-existing image already, then uh, there's some options here that we could play around with. Here's a prompt. So if we want to just do a video generation direct from prompt, then we can do that. A lot of times, just rule of thumb, it's usually better to generate an image that you're looking for and then put that into video generation. It tends to be, the results tend to be more consistent, but it's up to you if that's what you want to do. Uh, let's go ahead though, and let's go back to our image generation. And now I want to go ahead and click to video. We can see here an aspect ratio. Let's go ahead and hit confirm. So that's going to start to work. So let's go ahead and give that a moment to work and we'll be right back. Okay, so that is now completed and that did take about five minutes for that to uh, finish up there. And now we can see the results here. So we'll just uh, let you take a look at that there. We got about five seconds of a generation. And one thing to note is you do get three attempts per day, uh, I believe is it is. It seems to be the case. Um, when I did the image generation, it did give me two results, and that only account that only counted as one attempt. So that's uh, kind of nice. And then the second attempt is our video generation here. So that's just something to, to take note of if uh, you're going to be using VivaGo. That's how the credits work and you do get uh, some daily uh, attempts there. Um, but we can see here what the result is. Really quite nice. And we have a remove background option here. We won't uh, take a look at that just now, but um, it's nice to know that that's there. We do have the 4K enhance mode and there's also the remix here um, and that is going to kind of give us a different uh, 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 a different version of what we're trying here we've also got our like option we can publish that so that's just to give you an idea there of what uh, VivaGo is capable of with video generation and it's got some pretty good results so that's quite nice let's take a look at 3d generation 
And here we have either text to 3D or image to 3D. And uh, we've got a quick start on Discord. So it does appear that um, Vivigo is on Discord as well. So that is something that you might want to consider if you're a Discord user. And I have found that with the various generators that can be found on Discord, that uh, a lot of times that might be the best place to go. That being said, Vivigo does have a really nice website. It does seem to be well laid out and pretty intuitive. So either one should be good for you. Uh, so text to 3D. So here, if we want to try a 3D generation, then we have uh, the option to do that. Let's, uh, we won't go into that. Um, uh, let's take a look at the explore here and see if we have any examples that we can take a look at as far as 3D generations go. Eh, it's fine. So that's something to consider as well. The fact that it has image generation, video generation, and 3D generation is uh, just more options here that VivaGo offers you. So that's quite neat. We do have a character creation as well. So this is, uh, this is pretty neat as well because you might be able to do this in image generation, but this is a little bit more... Uh, uh, direct in terms of what it is that you want to do and uh, same idea here so if we wanted to put a character together so let's say we just want to do a superhero let's kind of keep it simple then we have our various tags here that we can choose from and this is really going to help us to dial it in we'll go ahead and make that a man and let's see we've got uh, here we go we got hero and eyes so we got different eyes we can use for him we'll just leave that as is hairstyle we've got different hairstyle options that we can use for our superhero so that's quite nice as well costume let's see what kind of superhero costume might our superhero wear yeah, it doesn't look like uh, we maybe have what we're looking for here but that's fine hopefully by just calling him a superhero that'll get us where we want to go there's a lot more option here as far as features you can really dial that in a lot of this you could put in the prompt as well but uh, it really is nice to have these tags here that really is quite helpful for uh, brainstorming um, emotion uh, let's see let's determined quality let's go with hyper quality and 16k all right, so then from there, why not? Let's go ahead and we'll do our final generation and we'll just let that work. In the meantime, let's go to AI tools and see what has available here. So here you go, we've got additional tools that Vivago offers and so far I'm really impressed with what Vivago does. There's really quite a lot of options here and it's all nicely laid out uh, not too cluttered and confusing. So we have image enhance if we want to upscale, repainting. So if there's any specific area of our image that we want to uh, remedy, then we can do that there. We have an eraser. So if there's anything that we want to erase, then we can do that. That's also very helpful. Expand. So if we want to outpaint the sides and uh, expand our image, we can do that. Video enhance. So if we want to enhance our videos to 4K resolution, that's really quite nice. I have seen this option elsewhere. And um, if uh, that's something that VivaGo does as well, then that's really nice to know. Um, magic brush, animate any part of your pictures with a simple brush stroke. That's also very cool that it has the magic brush. That's something that Runway has and a few other uh, premier uh, video generators have. So the fact that it allows you to do that is really quite incredible. So VivaGo is the whole package. It really gives you a lot of neat stuff here. Um, notifications, invitation, contact us. We are okay with that. Let's just take a quick look at the subscribe options here. So we have for our yearly, we have a $5 a month. We have a $15 a month, $45. Let's see the monthly here. Yeah, monthly is not too bad. So six bucks, 20 bucks, 60 bucks, and you have unlimited chill generations. So if I understand that correctly, unlimited chill generations, that's pretty cool. That's interesting. 
So if that's the case, that is really quite a good deal because if that's uh, if that's the fact, then that means you're not really dealing with credits and stuff. You can just do unlimited generations. That is uh, definitely worth considering because not other not a lot of generators necessarily give you that. Uh, a lot of them can be kind of uh, stingy with the credits. So if they're offering unlimited generations for six dollars a month, that's pretty pretty great. Twenty dollars a month. You can skip the waiting time, unlimited fast generations, four concurrent generations, download without watermarks, private generation, image video enhance. This is all really, really neat. And for $20 a month, that's actually pretty awesome. So yeah, I would say that uh, VivaGo definitely has some special stuff going here. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.